Well, we're here in the custom shop, and uh, this is a really incredible, uh, wonderful space here in our factory where you can witness the craziest ideas coming to life, whether it's a, a wild inlay or a, a crazy color scheme or even um, something a little more uh, technical like a new neck profile or a really wild neck carve. And to that end, uh, John, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Mike Rapier. Hello. He's hey, one Mike of our highly skilled, highly skilled um, and just a, just a, a meticulous craftsman uh, here in the custom shop. So in other areas in the factory, the thing that sort of sets us apart um, is that in our custom shop, we have a lot of people who are highly uh, cross-trained. They're able to do many different processes um, that they've learned over the years in different functional areas of the factory. And so you end up with a, a product at the end that is maybe a little bit m more handmade than, than the, our usual handmade. Certainly uh, more handmade by you know, a smaller number of um, uh, craftspeople. Sure. So, uh, so one of Mike's specialties is in neck cards. So he can match a neck profile more or less, we pull guitars out of the museum regularly and say, hey Mike, what do you think? Can you mock this up? And he'll say, I'll take a whack at it. And uh, next thing you know, it's like, it's like you've cloned the thing, like a perfect <laughs> twin. And uh, like we said before, that's really important. If someone's looking for a specific neck shape, it's got to be just right because they're going to be having their hands on that thing and uh, we want them to be comfortable and want to play that guitar. So uh, Mike has taken off a lot of excess meat here. He's using the rasps. Uh, he's using files, and he's got these gauges. So, uh, what are we checking here? Uh, this is just my thickness. I'll get at the first fret. First fret? And the tenth. Tenth fret. So this is a thickness gauge. Yep, and then I got it all flat. Perfect. I know so, it sounds kind of weird to uh, flatten it out to make it round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really interesting. And the approach, if you watch, um, you'll see we're sort of coming in on, we start with a nice flat surface and we start coming in on angles but maintaining those angles going down the barrel of the neck profile. Yeah, now here's my gauge, and that's all the stuff I gotta take off now to make it round See again. all that meat. Wow. Right. So we can scribe it, actually. That's what uh, Mike has just done. It sort of left a little impression yeah. of the gauge. I call that cheating. <laughs> well, and you know, like that. And then take a little off, check it. Take a little off. You never put it back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Once right. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. Not very forgiving. No. Wood. No. Once. Uh, <laughs> and I know that some of our uh, some of our viewers out there are going to be wondering about this wild pedestal um, that Mike has. So we were asking about that earlier. We reckon that piece of wood is probably 80 years old, and the way that it gets worn out like that is because when you're uh, when your file, when the teeth fill up with wood, oh. you got to clean them out so you can still get a good fresh cut. So we'll tap it on there, and just over time, over the years that Mike has been using this particular pedestal, we've, we've ended up with this wildly cool shape. I mean, yeah. it's like it's like a piece of modern art in and it, of itself, it you know? Yeah, now I'd start using this, so I'm, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this one going, going yeah. for a little bit more. All right, I'm almost done. Wow. See, it comes along pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, you removed I mean, a lot of wood just yeah. in the time we've been I mean, I here. I did a few of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't need. I don't know how many places actually still do this now. I think it's pretty uncommon, and that's uh, that's something that we've noticed as we walk through the factory is the the confidence with which uh, our craftspeople are able to handle their tools, to know the job, to know what their uh, what their goal is and how to get there, and that's something that only comes with experience. Yeah, just um, fearless, confident. Yeah, it's a little. Scary when you first do it. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> there is no coming back. You mess no. up, the whole neck's destroyed. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, you can have something that has like a lot of in like like these. Oh wow! Yeah, could these you imagine? Our, hey, can you show it to the camera? Oh, there you go. Yeah. You can hold it up. Look yeah, at those that. Those are our hops and barley. So if you have something like that on here and you mess it up, that's a pretty <laughs> costly, big, yeah, costly yeah. mistake. Yeah. Wow. All Gorgeous. Right. So. The, the fingerboard will be done like this when you deal with yeah. it? Yeah, it'll wow. be just like that. The only thing that ain't done on this right now is the nut. So, but Boy, yeah, you I'll really don't want to mess that up. Yeah, I know. So you can <laughs> see though, Mike's got all these clamping calls up there yeah. to glue up different radii of fingerboards, yeah. uh, different uh, scale lengths, 
different neck profiles so that you're not denting the back of the neck when you glue it on there. And while in other areas that might be done with like a hydraulic press that's coming down uh, for very cookie cutter um, stuff, which is still special, you know, and yeah. unique, but we're making thousands of them. When, when Mike's working on stuff, maybe we're making dozens or maybe we're making one. Yeah, you we know? do it like the old traditional way as yep. much as we can here. Wow. All right, now let's see what else we're gonna do. All right, now it's gonna be your turn. Oh boy. Yeah. You ready, John? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I am not. We kind of we kind of sprung this on John a little bit. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to cheat for you. Okay. So, just right where the little indents are. Sure. Just take your file. Just go up. Just go forward yep. like forward that. Forward up like that. Right and in then, that area. Yep. You only want about maybe an inch or two area, just like that. Cool. And then on this side, you want to go down. Wow. And remember, it only cuts in one direction. Yep. So it cuts on the push. On the push. Right. Not on up the and pull, down. you're just you're coming back to yep. position. Yep. Okay. So there you go. Okay. This is a red okay. letter day. Yep. Yeah. Just up. Mm hmm Wanna slide it up. No, so you're just sliding. Just going oh, up. There you go. There you go. Ah. Yeah. It's kinda Yeah, yeah see? <laughs> this is way scarier yeah. than shop class. <laughs> I, mean, I make it look a lot easier. Really easy yeah, ah, man, I had no idea. This is terrible. You know what, Mike? I give up. <laughs> no, I, seriously, it's too scary. We'll try the down cut next. Yeah. Use your palm. Let's go. So the push is in the direction of the yeah. of the file. Yeah, when you go up, it don't do nothing. Okay. So it won't take nothing out. It's only when you go down. Going down. And you don't want to slide it, because then you're going to do nothing except make grooves. Okay. So you want to push it down. So when that piece of wood here wears out, what do you do to make another one? Lighter touch will help you. Probably. There you lighter go. touch. Yep. yep. There you go. See? And then just slide it down. Yeah, man. Lighter. Probably chunk of mahogany somewhere. Now we're making sawdust. But I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll, I'll put it back together now. Boy, that would... There you go, that's the oh, pro move. Oh yeah. That's the real pro move. Now we're moving some wood. Yeah, see, there you go. So consistent. Look at that. God. Or you take this one. This one, this one will really take off. Is wood that there. the dragon tail yeah, rasp? Dragon nice. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah. <laughs> just watch the point on it. You know, just go the same thing. Just go down. Go down. Yeah. yeah. That one. That one takes off a whole bunch. Woo boy. Now you really don't need to press too much on the file. To, uh, this is aggressive enough. It'll do all the work. Jeez. Boy, you could get in trouble yeah. really quickly. Yeah, that's why you always got to keep on checking because you think you're going good and the next thing you know, you check it's either yeah. out of shape or too much. I know there's some jobs where you can kind of just space out. This is not one no, of them. No. You'd have to be present the whole time. Yeah. Because, oh God. Okay, Mike, I, I give up. Right. I'm handing over it. <laughs> yeah, before, uh, before I do any real damage. Ah, uh, sorry. This is going to be yours anyways. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. wouldn't that be nice? Oh no, it's a souvenir. Now we're going to do this. Now this is another one. This is a draw knife. But it's don't touch the blade, it's very sharp. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here and work my way down the blade as I pull it towards me. I know it don't sound right, but <laughs> we're going to be pulling the sharp blade towards us. Yeah, I thought they said don't again. do that. Yeah, but yeah. we don't always listen. I'm, not, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was a rule. Yeah. All right, then you just go down. And it all depends on how much you had the blade angle. Here, I'll go on this side. If you have it angled too much, it's just going to rip chunks out. So you just want to like lightly angle it. Then, Little shaving. See? And it'll catch. Then it'll take it down. Wow. The only reason I do that is so my blade don't get dull. If I keep on using the same spot, that blade, that spot's going to get dull and it ain't going to be it's sure. not going to be any good. So that's what you do. Ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Just watch the blade. Okay. I'll help you out a little bit. So like go right this here? side right in front Okay, of you. yeah. Yep, just go down. Well, a little bit too much. There you go. And let it wow. go. Wow. See? Now start over here. Go ahead. Now pull it. Boy. Yeah, I could now. see where... 
you get it. You can get in a lot of trouble with that one. Yeah. Oh, the fly was bad. That is bad. Yeah. This you, you accidentally hog out a chunk yeah. there. Yeah. You can God, go in how there do you? And it just takes it and then. Whoosh. It's amazing that you were able to get a consistent, smooth. Yeah. It takes a lot neck of time. Like oh. Get the skill down for that. Yeah. No, that's it's. That's, that's why we just have like a practice when you just go to town. And, yeah. Yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> it really is. I say we give you a couple weeks of training with, yeah. uh, oh, God. with Mike Good. here and you yeah, get only, halfway decent. Yeah, train for two weeks and say, never do that again. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's great. Yeah, then I do the heel. This is just a generic, this is like a sample or junk neck would be what we call it. Yeah. Then I have the heel and then they'll trace, they'll, they'll fit it to the body and then I have the heel cap on there and I have to do the whole heel and shape the whole heel and everything. Golly. But then bring it all together and then it'll get sanded. So cool. Yeah, the diamond will get cut on it with the ears. Yeah, that perfect diamond, yeah, all that all, shaping. This is all done by hand. I have the sample. These are my old authentics that I did. And that's how. That so this is your in. work? Yeah. God, and you can see that the, the ears are a little yeah, bit this, more curled in than they are on yeah, a standard this is, guitar. Uh, off of a OM45 Deluxe from 1930. This is the ones we pulled out of the museum and duplicated. Oh, how cool. And then I had to match up all the, the diamond with the ears and everything and have like 10 people look at it and oh, tell wow. me if it's okay or not. Yeah, it's that? like, uh, it's like you know, the survey, you go through and say, okay, here's the neck, everybody feel it, what do you think? Yeah. You know, and here's, a, here's one that's a little bit better. Oh well, no, there ain't no head plate on this one either. We took all the head plates off, they're a gazillion. Yes, yeah. Wow. So is that the way it works a lot? You're, you find your old heritage, vintage guitars, and then... Yeah, it really, it depends on what we're trying to achieve. Yeah. If, for example, in our authentic line, we're trying to get a really good, accurate um, reproduction of something that exists, yeah. uh, then yes, we'll refer to the museum or our private collection. Um, but when we're developing something new, you know, sometimes we draw from the past, but a lot of the time we have the freedom um, to be really open-minded and start with a blank drawing board and sort of take it from there. So oh, how cool. it really depends what we're trying to what we're trying to achieve, you know? How cool. Nice job, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah great job. So Mike, how long have you been doing this? Well, I've been I've been working here almost 17 years, but I've been over here for 15. How long did it take until you felt like comfortable no, no, doing that. No, no. Like maybe six months probably. I'd but straight just doing this job. Like yeah. I do no other job but shape next. Yeah. I bet it was terrifying yeah. for the first six months. Yeah, it took me about three months to like be on my own where I can don't no. need somebody to come over and check in. Yeah, right? I like I'm nope. not doing that many over a day, maybe two or three. That yeah. was it. How many do you do these days? I can do one an hour. That's wild. That's really yeah. cool man. Really? Depends on how much and if the wood cooperates I can do maybe forty minutes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Some wood carves easier than others. Yeah. And some you just can't. Yeah. Some you just gotta do a hardball and can't use no draw knife or got, you just gotta file it. Full muscle. Yeah. 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 Like, I don't know, man. like this one. This one was one I was gonna use for a sink for like for us to do it. Look at that. Wow. The curl Is that in there? No, it's it's uh, mahogany. It's figured mahogany. How that's, do just, you... that's just the figure in it. See it, it, every time you just go like it that. Looks you, yeah. like it looks like an optical yeah. illusion. Yeah. Can you see? Look at that. It looks like scaling. Yeah. So that's highly figured mahogany. Yeah. I did. And some eat. of it gets even tighter than that. I mean, that's a really wild, cool piece, yeah. but that would you, look you'd be shocked. amazing when it's finished, but it's not good for me <laughs> because it'll take me so long to shape it. Yeah. Because every time I, my draw knife will hit one of these, it would blow a chunk out oh, or I something. Bet. So I just got to yeah. pile it down. Well, this is a great opportunity. That's kind of what the custom shop is all about. Um, yeah. So it's a great opportunity for us to take a look around and uh, show you guys a little more around here and how we do things, how we can take a dream, you know, a, a paper, a napkin sketch and turn it into a dream guitar. Yeah, and we also, if you have like a guitar that your grandfather, your great grandfather or whoever, and you just want a brand new guitar because you don't want that one to be broken. Yeah. And you like that neck that's worn out, we can duplicate that neck for you. Like, like the Rich Robinson thing yes. you guys just yep. did. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah, we did some for a couple other celebrities. Yeah. We sent their guitar in. I got my pin gauge out. And and we did it. Wow. And now then you have brand new Martin with the same old neck that he used to like. 
start a profile, I can say. Yeah. No, they don't pay him any extra, but I'm working on getting an, an award made up someday. It's been a long oh. time. Not only go. is Mike an excellent uh, neck carver, Mike actually saved the guy about three years ago with a Heimlich maneuver in the cafeteria. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Real talk, real yeah. talk, man. So, so I, do the hero. I do it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right. Some heroes don't wear capes. No. Yeah. Hey, great to meet you. Yeah, nice meeting you.